so welcome back folks this is shardul gavande from ace knowledge and in this video we'll see how we can get our json file in order to fetch youtube videos in our android application so let's go to google before that you need to sign in into your google account as i've done with my channel ace knowledge and let's go to our search engine and here we we will type we have to search for google api explorer okay so from here we'll get our json file we need to generate it by entering some parameters so this is google api explorer where we have services various services which google's provide us uh, so we can see it over here as adsense host api BigQuery, Blogger API. If you have uh, your blogger own blog, then you can simply fetch your data from your blog, data from your blog, into your website uh, or your app simply by using this Blogger API. Here it is uh, description. We have a description API for access to the data within Blogger. Also, we have uh, Cloud Tool Result API, and we have I think so Gmail API also, where it is. Yeah, you can see it over here, Gmail API, which uh, helps to access gmail mailboxes including our sending user email etc so you can simply uh, if you're on your website you can if you want to make user login through his gmail account so you can use this gmail api in your website okay or simply in your application also so we have to search for youtube data api right so let's search for youtube data api where it is so here it is at the bottom of the page youtube data api and we also have youtube analytics api this is for analysis purpose for your videos regarding your graph your channel graph uh, what are the results on or results from your graph so for that purpose you need youtube analytics api but as we are fetching playlist of youtube playlist from our channel or simply videos we need youtube data api so we'll go over there so here in youtube data api we have many services available which says as YouTube activities, YouTube captions, then we have channel list, uh, we need to list down various channels, the comments from the videos, then we have live broadcasting also, wow, that's great. And we have here, our main part is over here, the, which is nothing but our playlist. So we need to fetch our play, playlist items list in our application. So we'll go for playlist items dot list which says that it returns a collection of playlist items that match the API request parameters that is simply our, our playlist videos okay so we'll click over here and here we get a GUI which says which displays some form information which uh, regarding some uh, form which we have to enter the details so for the, the very first is part so here the part specifies that uh, we have to enter a snippet part equal to snippet so this snippet consist uh, some details regarding uh, our videos which is nothing but our title our description our position our resource id so all these three to four details regarding our videos are under this snippet okay so part will say as snippet here they have mentioned as such if you set part is equal to snippet the api response will contain all those properties regarding this snippet okay then max result maximum result of playlist uh, it will show as 50 number of videos inside a playlist it will display 50 if there are more than 50 videos then you you need to do something different which is nothing but page token which will come which will talk later so let's just get with the url part first json url so let's uh, enter our playlist id id our android playlist id it, it's over here we'll copy it and paste it over here and will authorize and execute so it will ask for authorization account so you need to again if you are not logging then you need to log in so i'll select my youtube uh, youtube channel account is knowledge and here you can see response uh, success with number 200 and this is our url which we need to encode in our coding part or simply into our android application okay so the your your api key in, your api key means here you need to enter type our api key so now you can see the results total results that is the total videos in my playlist as of now are 16 and results per page it will show five that is only five videos we can see 
or five videos we can fetch this is my first video what is android android willy this is my second video and so on till fifth video this is my fifth video at position number four how is your how your java and xml file works as we are in array so it is it starts from zero so for five videos it and it will end at position four so here in snippet you can see the information why i have uh, put a snippet in the part section because in sni inside snippet we have published i published at the date at which the video is published channel id title description everything we can get through this snippet okay so that is the reason we enter part is equal to snippet so now as of now i have got only 5 uh, results per page but my total results are 16 so what if i want the next uh, 5 videos per page per per page it will only fetch 5 5 videos so for next 5 videos we need to we can enter this next page token so it will get the next 5 videos and so on but youtube or simply you can say google provides the facility to fetch at a time 50 videos per page okay so we'll enter max result 50 and we'll execute so you can see over here total result 16 uh, total result 16 which is which are my videos and results per page 50 but it will not show 50 because there are only 16 videos as of now right so my total 16 videos i can get it over here per page okay so this is my last video i think so youtube uh, my last video was youtube video fetching part 2 so you can see 16 all the 16 videos have been fetched okay so what if your videos are more than 50 so you need to enter page token see now my videos are total 16 videos as of now so all the 16 videos are fetched and no page token is there so previously there was page token right because there were only five videos per page so if there are more than 50 videos then uh, here you you can get a page token which is your next page token you need to simply copy that and paste it over here in the page token and you execute and you'll get your next 50 videos okay so let me give an example if i fetch only max results 5 then i will get my first 5 videos right result per page 5 and here i can get my next page token this you will get similar for your next 50 videos if you have video if you have videos more than 50 so i'll copy this next page token and put it over here in the page token section and execute so you can see my next five videos i can fetch this is my short announcement uh, the sixth video and the next five videos i can see over here from my playlist okay so this is my 10th video working with intent so this is how you can fetch uh, videos in a json file and generate a json file which we can use it for our coding section i'll remove all this we'll undo all these things and only get all the 50 or you can say even if you enter 50 it will get all the videos uh, only till 50 okay so total results are 16 so all 16 videos are over here and we'll now check this particular url so we'll copy this paste it over here we'll say url and we'll enter api key and let's check whether it is working and we'll let's copy and open a new tab paste it over here and hit enter so yes you can see it is working you can get, see the title of my very first video what is android then my second video software and hardware requirements and so on okay all my 16 videos as of now so this uh, url we will encode it in our coding part and we'll fetch our playlist in our application in our android application so that's it from this video stay tuned thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe